critical race theory is now giving children OCD. At least according to this one woman. Today there was an article in Raw Story which I uh, read and then had to dig a little deeper into and I wanted to talk about it. So there is a woman called Robin Steedman and she is the chapter head for a group in Tennessee called Moms for Liberty. This already feels like an SNL skit. Uh, and what she is doing is she is raising money for a family that she says has been so traumatized by critical race theory that a first grader is now requiring psychological help. So <clears throat> she is uh, running a GoFundMe page asking for $5,000 because of a family that reached out to her claiming that their seven-year-old daughter is now in treatment for obsessive compulsive disorder, OCD, because she was taught critical race theory in her first grade class. Critical race theory not taught in K through 12 in America. Keep that in mind. <clears throat> uh, Ms. Steedman also recently appeared on Glenn Beck's radio show sounds about right, uh, to talk about her work in the community to create hysteria around critical race theory. So that sounds pretty deliberate. Um, <clears throat> she claims that Moms for Liberty has already uh, gathered over a thousand angry parents, and uh, yeah, this is in Tennessee. It says she's the chapter head, so I don't know if there are other chapter heads of this a uh, group run by conservative women who masquerade as a community mom's organization. So according to uh, the letter <clears throat> by this mom who is remaining anonymous because she's not real, uh, <laughs> the um, child came home from school able to describe specifics about the Civil War, quote, as if we're quoting a real person here, quote, as if they had actually been there. Uh, keeping in mind that according to the Associated Press in 2017, uh, lessons on the Civil War are usually not taught until fifth grade. So add another BS claim to this. Uh, the mother went on to claim that her seven-year-old now, because of learning about racism, is, uh, quote, has feelings of self-hate that border on suicidal. They're claiming that a seven-year-old girl in Tennessee, who doesn't exist, is now suicidal and depressed and filled with self-hate because they learned about critical race theory, which is not taught in any K-12 through school in America, but she learned about the Civil War, and she learned a little bit about racism in her first grade class, and uh, now is suicidal. Um, <clears throat> the mother has also threatened, the mother that doesn't exist, has also threatened to take her child, who doesn't exist, out of school. Uh, the story uh, that the GoFundMe page is about was first found on an Instagram page uh, I'm not going to name this page, but I did go and look at it, and um, <clears throat> the bio for this Instagram page says uh, that they are posting stories of children traumatized by curriculum and activist teachers in Williams County Schools in Tennessee. The uh, non-existent mother in this fake letter <laughs> went on to say that the non-existent child, which they're referring to as Sally, which they admit is a fake name, the whole thing is fake, uh, <clears throat> claiming that the child will, quote, literally crumble at the slightest challenge and word. Listen. <laughs> we learned about the Civil War and slavery, slavery in school when I was a kid. No one crumbled 
it didn't emotionally destroy anyone, and it certainly didn't give anyone OCD. Uh, <clears throat> the woman went on to say that this curriculum destroys our children's innocence and lies to them about who they are and their value to this world and has no place in the classroom. Which might be why it's not taught in the classroom. This GoFundMe page, which is asking for $5,000 to pay for psychological help for this non-existent child, uh, has raised only $510 of the $5,000 goal. And of course, I went to the GoFundMe page, I looked around, it's got a couple of uh, stock photos of children looking away from the camera, looking very sad, just, you know, stock photos of sad children just to pull at your heartstrings. Uh, one one person actually donated a hundred dollars to this thing. Um, <clears throat> now the uh, bio for this Instagram page, by the way, which again I'm not going to promote. Uh, the bio says, "Bringing stories of children traumatized by curriculum and activist teachers in Williams County schools to light." And the page, by the way. <clears throat> It looks like a brand new troll page because it is following zero other pages. Only has 137 followers uh, and has only made eight posts. And all of these eight posts, all of them, are letters exactly like uh, the one in question. And when I say exactly like, I mean they were quite obviously written by the same person. They are all exactly the same length. They all start out exactly the same, claiming to be from parents, saying, I have a child who is uh, very young and was a picture-perfect, carefree, happy child until they learned critical race theory in school, which is not taught in school, and now they're just an emotional wreck and they want to kill themselves because they heard about racism. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, and now two... The, uh, oh, this woman, sorry, this is a great quote. The, the mom in this original letter is uh, saying that her daughter, her seven-year-old, because this sounds like something a seven-year-old would say, came home from school very upset and told me, quote, Mom, I'm white. My friend is brown. I need to apologize to him for being white just not what critical race theory teaches, by the way, uh, because white people have done bad things to people with brown skin. Uh, the family is also considering uh, not only pulling the kid out of school, but also filing a lawsuit against the school for teaching something that they don't teach. Um, the, this curriculum has destroyed my daughter's self-esteem and created a world in which she is fraught with anxiety and is now in treatment for OCD. I don't know a whole lot about OCD. I know it is not uh, caused by learning about racism. Now the only <clears throat> sort of silver lining to this besides the only $510 goal of the $5,000 goal being reached which is Giuliani territory uh, is if you read the comments under some of these fake letters, uh, pretty much every comment is saying the same thing, which is what I was going to end this with, which is grifters are gonna grift. <laughs>